What is up, guys? Doc Redstone here, and uh, I'm back in my uh, tutorial world, and uh, I have a creation for you. The creation idea was brought to me by the band Mark, and uh, it was a really great, great idea. So here it is, and basically what this is is a Minecraft minecart parking garage, and it works out pretty well. So, for an example. Go ahead and you place your minecart right, not there, right there. Go ahead, hop in, press the button, and we'll go ahead, take you off, and ta da! As you can see, minecart automatically parked. And go ahead, place your next cart, press your button, and as you can see, you park in the second spot. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. And then if you come back over here, ace down your minecart. And go ahead. And as you can see now, I'm also in this spot. And there's also three more levels, so I'm going to go ahead and do those three levels in fast motion. And uh, I'll be right back. guys so as you can see all the minecarts have been parked automatically without any help and uh, down here at the beginning there's actually just a bug because I ended up um, there's a bug with a uh, redstone or not red well uh, powered rails that when you power them and then a piston pulls them away they still think they're powered and unless you update a block around them they're going to continue to think they're powered so I accidentally updated this block, so I had to repower them. But there we go. Had to repower it, so it'd push off the carts. But uh, as you can see, all the mine carts were parked and in their spot. And you could make this a bit more compact, where there's actually another spot right here. But I figured, you know, if this was on a server, you could have a chest right here where the user can have their items and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to include a schematic to this as well because I think this would be kind of cool to put on your server. Um, be fun. And as I was saying earlier, um, the only way to call the carts is automatically. Unfortunately. But anyway, to go ahead and call the carts, you just go to the first cart and press the button and it will go ahead and take it and I have the secondary track right here which will launch them into the flames but you can have it leading off to wherever so go ahead take that one launches it off and it's actually quite fun to watch the carts fly into the flames to be quite honest as you can see and we'll go up here to the second level and you have to call them in the order from left to right, top, bottom to top. Um, otherwise, you will get an issue with the carts um, not working out correctly. So as you can see, it goes, and ta-da, they fall right into the pit. And you can change that up, you know, this can continue out that way for infinity. But I just made it fall into the pit. And the wiring behind this is extremely simple. Um, it's just a detector rail, um, which I never thought I'd use a detector rail, but I do. Here, let's go under here and break that. Let's see here. All right. So we have right here the T flip flop from my tiny tech, 
and when the minecart goes over the T flip flop, it acts um, or over the uh, detector rail, it triggers this, which powers the T flip flop, which allows it to provide power. Power then goes from here to here, and will invert this torch. And tracks are really interesting for those of you who do not know. I'll just do it right here real quick. But uh, do this. As you can see, nothing happens. However, if I provide power to this track, it will go ahead and actually turn it. And if I provide power to this track, it will go ahead and turn it. So that's like two different power sources. So that's basically what the T flip flop does. It allows the track to turn to uh, change the direction. And then I just have right here um, is where the button is. And so the button will actually flip the T flip flop so it will go back. Um, back to the original state and go straight. So it's a pretty simple, simple solution. Um, it's not too complex. Mine carts, uh, mine tracks were actually fun to work with. I've never worked with mine tracks before, or mine carts. And uh, here's a little prototype over here, where I was trying to wait too hard. I actually thought I needed two, and I was using a. Uh, and gate along with a RS nor latch and then I realized a T flip flop would be just as easy. But anyway guys this has been Doc Redstone. Once again thank you the Bend Mark for this idea. I really do appreciate it. Guys check out his channel. I do believe he has some Minecraft videos up. Also the schematic for this creation will be in the description. Thank you guys. This has been Doc Redstone. Peace out.